Now we shall see what is the relation between conductivity and concentration, or how conductivity of the solution changes with change in concentration of the solution. First, again we have to consider what is conductivity. Conductivity is the conductance due to the unit volume of the solution. Means volume of the solution is one cm cube or one meter cube. Then the conductance of this solution is called as conductivity. Now we have said that the number of ions produced, or if the concentration is more, then the number of ions will be more. If the concentration is less, number of ions are less. That is conductivity depends upon concentration of the solution. And you know that if we decrease the concentration or if we dilute the solution on dilution. On dilution, the ionization increases. We have studied this. Ionization increases with dilution. If you increase the volume of the solution, its degree of ionization increases. Means ionization increases. Means number of ions produced by that electrolyte will increase. Remember, if we dilute the solution, means if we add water into the solution, what will happen? The ionization of the electrolyte will increase. So, the number of ions present in 1 cm cube of the solution or 1 meter cube of the solution will increase. So, what will happen to the conductivity? The conductivity of the solution must be increased. That means... When you dilute the solution, the conductivity of the electrolyte must increase. But remember here, if we dilute the solution, the number of ions are increased. But the proportion of num increase in number of ions and the dilution is not same. And so, here we have to consider how conductivity changes with change in concentration. Suppose we have one example here. We can take one example. Suppose we have a solution of an electrolyte and here the number of ions produce. So, suppose the volume of the solution is 1000 cm cube. Sorry, 100 cm cube. Suppose we have the solution having volume 100 cm cube and in this 100 cm cube the number of ions which are present are 8 into suppose 10 raised to 20. 10 raised to 20 ions are there. Again I will explain. Suppose I have a solution. Volume of the solution is 100 cm cube and the number of ions present in 100 cm cube of the solution are 8 into 10 raised to 20. Means how many ions are present in unit volume of the solution? Conductivity is due to the number of ions present in unit volume of the solution. So here the number of ions present in unit volume of the solution can be calculated by dividing this number of ions by volume of the solution that is 100. That means here 8 into 10 raised to 18. Remember here, the conductivity of this solution is due to the ions which are present in unit volume of the solution and these ions are 8 into 8. 10 raised to 18. Now suppose we dilute this solution. We dilute this solution by 10 times. That is the volume of the solution is 1000 cm cube now. 100 cm cube of the solution is there. We dilute the solution to 1000 cm cube by adding the water. Now the number of ions will increase because as dilution increases, the number of ions are increased. Suppose the number of ions which are increased is equal to 64 into 10 raised to 20. Number of ions are increased and it becomes 64 into 10 raised to 20. So number of ions present in unit volume of the solution will become 64 into 10 raised to 20 divided by 1000 means 10 raised to 3 that is equal to 64 
इन टू टेन डेस टू सेवेंटीन और इट इज इक्वल टू सिक्स पॉइंट फोर वी हैव डिवाइडेड दिस नंबर बाय टेन सो मल्टीप्लाई बाय दिस नंबर बाय टेन सो सिक्स पॉइंट फोर इन टू टेन डेस टू एटीन मीन्स इन यूनिट वॉल्यूम ऑफ द सोल्यूशन हाउ मेनी आयन्स आर प्रेजेंट सिक्स पॉइंट फोर इन टू टेन डेस टू एटीन रिमेंबर इयर वी हैव डायल्यूटेड द सोल्यूशन हंड्रेड सी एम क्यूब टू वन थाउजेंड सी एम क्यूब द नंबर ऑफ आयन्स आर इंक्रीज बट द नंबर ऑफ आयन्स पर यूनिट वॉल्यूम ऑफ द सोल्यूशन इन द फर्स्ट केस आर एट इंटू टेन डेज टू एटीन एंड द नंबर ऑफ आयन्स प्रेजेंट इन दिस सोल्यूशन आर सिक्स पॉइंट फोर इंटू टेन डेज टू एटीन वॉट हैपन्स द नंबर ऑफ आयन्स पर यूनिट वॉल्यूम आर डिक्रीज सो वॉट विल हैपन टू द कंडक्टिविटी conductivity will decrease because the number of ions are decrease remember here the basic concept is on dilution ionization increases so number of ions can uh, number of ions are increase so we can say that conductivity must increase but what happens actually as uh, number of ions are increase but not, not in the same proportion as in terms of dilution the number of So, or the dilution, we have diluted this solution by ten times, but the number of ions are not increased in the in the same proportion, and therefore remember that conductivity decreases with the dilution. Or if we decrease the concentration, we have diluted the solution, means we have decreased the concentration of the solution, and here the conductivity of the solution. decreases it can be explained by taking the simple example suppose i have taken first test of all of the students one of the student get 18 marks in the first test one student get 18 marks this test is of 20 marks now suppose the second test is taken first test is suppose on the topic ionic equilibria out of 20 marks that student had obtained 18 marks second test is taken on the topic electrochemistry suppose the student has obtained 20 marks but this test is of 25 marks remember here the total marks are increase and the marks obtained by that student is 18 And twenty, the marks are increase. But remember here, what is the percentage of this test or these marks? Out of twenty marks, eighteen marks are obtained. And so here you can say eighteen into five. That is equal to ninety percent marks are obtained. Now here, out of twenty five, twenty marks are obtained. Now twenty into four. means 80% so what can you say now these marks are decrease 18 to 20 you can say this is the increase in marks but the percentage of these marks are 90 to 80 means they are decrease same case is there here that is we have diluted the solution the number of ions are increase but not in the same proportion of the dilution here If we are to secure ninety percent mark, there must be twenty twenty three or twenty four marks. The student must obtain. Now that means here there is increase in the marks, but the percentage it decrease. And so here we have to remember how conductivity changes with change in concentration. Remember as concentration decreases the conductivity decreases now in the next video we shall consider how the molar conductivity changes with change in concentration